Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rosie O. And today I would like to show a team order of one of many that I had come in. And I wanted to show this one because there's a little something different than I ordered. Um, and if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, I hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> so the different thing that I ordered this time, uh, when I picked it up, it was such a good deal. And I just had to have it because I do not say no to storage because I love storage containers and all of that. And they have this little suitcase. The little suitcases uh, you've probably seen on my channel that I love using, a lot of diamond painters love using, they all contain around sometimes 30 tubes, so for storing whenever you're kitting up diamonds to paint. Or the really larger ones are 60. The largest I've seen was 240, but that's not what I'm showing today. <laughs> this one is 31, and at first when I purchased it, it was below $10.00. And I'll make sure to put a link below. If there's any still uh, on sale, you'll be able to locate through the Timu site. What I didn't know when I opened the box, it had a whole bunch of little extra items that I didn't see listed. One of them was labels. And I love these labels. I've purchased a lot of them because I use them to label a lot of my storage containers as well as the little tube suitcases that I use. And these are really, really well. They're under the DMC numbers and they match the colors of the diamonds. That's why I really love these labels. And I can put a link below um, for separate if you just want the labels and you don't really need to just purchase this to get the labels. They do sell them separately. So I'll make sure to put that as well. So the inside, it's the tubes and it has a lot of accessories that I was not expecting. And whoops, it's upside down. <laughs> So, and I selected, this was the only color that was available. They had a pink one, one with a blue lining. Purple was the only one available, so I picked it up because I I do like purple as well, so I'm not that picky. So, these are the tubes that are in the suitcase, and there are 30 of them. And these are all the accessories that came with it. And when I first opened it, because I wanted to check to make sure nothing was missing or broken or anything I was super surprised and I was like whoa that is a lot of accessories so there's a little funnel so you can be pouring when you're pouring the diamonds into the tube so they don't spill everywhere and the usual the little green tray for putting the diamonds and some ziploc bags in case you're gonna store any on the side if they're more than 30 you decide oh let me put the rest in a ziploc bag these are good for that and this comes, the other thing that surprised me was this. It came with a non-stick kind of, I'm not too sure what to call it, but I have some, I've used them before. What they are is they're kind of sticky. As you can see, that's why they have the little covering. You put it on the surface you're using, you put your tray and it keeps it from sliding anywhere. This is good if you're using any kind of tabletop that's kind of angled this is really really useful for keeping the tray from sliding down or if you want to put your pens anything that you need to put on there or your cell phone because i've used it for my phone it keeps them from sliding i did not know this was going to come with it so this was a really really wonderful surprise and for the price i think it's such a good deal and the accessories it comes with let me just open that real quick I already see a lot of the squishy pen holders, which surprised me because I don't usually see that many in accessory kits. But I believe the reason is it has a lot of pens, which surprised me as well. And they all come with multi-placers. Um, I know this is a three and this might be seven. <laughs> I'm really, I've stated before, I'm really bad at knowing what size the multi-placer is i just know three because i use this one all the time but i do like that it does have several from small to large so it's really well if you do not have multi-placers and they all come with the single placer as well and it comes as i said it has four of these little squishy pen holders i have no idea i have that's a lie I just showed the pens. <laughs> I believe they're for all the pens, which I think is really neat for anyone who's still, you know, anyone who prefers using the standard pens. These are really good for your fingers. And some plastic tweezers. They're not as sharp, but they still um, handle really well when you're picking up diamonds. I've used these before. The little brush surprised me. I purchased one separately before, but when I saw that this one came with it, this is really 
really useful when you have, let's say in this tray, diamonds that you kind of pour out through the spout. Let me show the tray real quick. You can see that there's grooves and it's just a larger tray compared to the little green one I just showed. It's a lot larger. I love these. I actually use them for my multi-tray that I use for any any paintings I decide to use on my desk. And this brush is really good at pushing the diamonds out that kind of get stuck and don't want to slide out when you're pouring them out. This is a really, really good tool. I actually have two of them because I thought they were cute. <laughs> and it has a little hand at the end in case there's any that are stuck. It kind of helps lodging out any diamonds that get stuck in the corners. I really like these pens a lot, and I think it's really neato that it came in this kit as well. And your traditional wax, uh, enough wax to last for days. <laughs> and these are all the accessories that came with it. And it came with a large straightener as well. I'm a big fan of these as well. And I love that this kit came with it. So in case you're ever looking for one, this has you covered. So these are all the accessories that came with this kit. And as I said, as I said before, I was super surprised by how many they put in it. And for the price, I believe it is such a good deal. And these are the tubes. They're large. They're not that small. And I really love the size because they really do handle a lot of diamonds. In case you have big packs, sometimes two tubes do the job. But sometimes just one is enough. And there's 30 in here, and there's a little elastic band pocket. So in case you want to put your accessories, anything in there, you're going to hold it down. You would just close it and then zip it up. And then you're on your way. <laughs> I use these a lot because sometimes I don't stay in one room to work on a painting. If I decide to move to my living room, my dining room, my bedroom, anywhere, I always have this and everything's always organized. These are really, really useful. And as I said, I'll make sure to put a link below, so in case you're interested in purchasing one. Especially if you're looking for one of these. <laughs> these are sold separately, but I just think it's really neat that they all came in here, so you don't have to worry about finding one. So, this is what I wanted to show extra for. I received it with these order of paintings. I'm sorry, I'm just moving everything out of the way real quick. I don't want to lose any of those pencil holder so <laughs> I don't want to lose them so the paintings so they're different sizes because when I first ordered uh they were having a sale a uh, team was having a sale so I pretty much was picking any images that I liked and the sizes I kind of wasn't being picky about that but I do love a lot of the images that I picked and for this one it's a 2030 and that's the little image there the camera can show it there you go so, let me just open it up real quick. Same thing. Standard kit. And just in case you need a diamond painting, the standard kit, as you saw in the other item I showed, you just put the diamonds in, the grooves in the tray. As you can see, it helps separate them. You would just get the pen, press in the wax, press it on the diamond, press it on the painting, and voila, you're done. And you would just keep doing that for any color that you're working on. These trays are usually always in... Especially in a lot of the paintings I order in Timu. So in case you lose one, don't worry. They'll always find their way back. <laughs> and these are the colors for this painting. And oh my goodness, I like these dark colors. I love that they're all dark and then this red and bright blue. I love that. These are real nice colors. And this is the painting. It's a little bridge with a river. Well, actually, I believe it's a waterfall with some trees around it. And a little coast with some rocks. And it's kind of, I believe it's nighttime because I kind of can see some waves in the background. But it does kind of look nighttime since it's dark. And I really like this image. I'm not sure. I believe it's a river or a waterfall. But I believe it might be the river that's just pushing through. That's why there's white there to make it look like it's moving. I really do like it. And apologies for the crinkly noise. I pulled the plastic to kind of help straighten it a bit. It, to me, I've done it to a lot of paintings. It really does help because as you can see the creases, since it's folded up, the creases stay and it kind of helps settle a little bit. I'm a big fan of doing that. So I'll probably be doing that to all these paintings. <laughs> so some information about this painting. It is ZS-204 and it is a 20 by 30 and it has 15 colors. And I really love these paintings. They're usually a small number of colors. So they're really, really really good for working up really quickly and they're good side kind of painting to do whenever you're doing a really large one you kind of want to break and do something kind of small so you can finish finish it quickly and i'll make sure to put an image here 
in the middle of the screen so you can see it clearly in case it's a painting you're interested in. So let me move this aside real quick. Oh, I just have to make sure not to lose the painting. I'm sorry, not to lose the colors. And the next painting is this one. And it's flowers with a butterfly. If the camera can catch it. There you go. Same thing. Let me just open it real quick. Standard kit. And these are the diamonds. Oh, I love that little mauve color. And the dark gray. This is a darker tone. Oh, I love that teal in the middle. Oh, these colors are really nice. I like them. <laughs> just showing the bottom. Sorry. I I'm just really impressed with the dark tones of the color. And this is the painting. Oh, it's a teal flower. That's why that color is there. So they're roses and some other flowers with a butterfly and a dark background. And I am pretending not to see that it's all dark in the background. <laughs> well, it kind of makes sense. It's enhanced. It's not enhancing. Sorry. It's showing more the color of the flowers of the butterflies. That kind of makes sense why it's a darker background. But I really really do love this image and it's so small and perfect and it's such a good side in case you want to work up a real quick painting this is such a good size for it and some information of the painting it is cd 057 and it is 20 by 25 and it is 16 colors i can see that because of all the different kind of little undertones of the different colors i can see why it's so many this is such a pretty image and I'll make sure to put it here in the center of the screen so you can see more clearly if it's an image you might be interested in. And all of these I'm going to make sure to put a link in the description below so in case there's a painting that you saw today you can locate it quickly because you can follow the link to the Timu site. So the next ones are kind of larger and this one I kind of forgot it but when I was opening it to take out of the plastic wrapping I fell in love with the color and immediately I remembered this painting. <laughs> and same thing, standard kit. And these are the colors. Oh, that's really cool. They have these in Ziploc. And I've been catching a lot more of paintings having everything packaged in Ziploc instead of little um, cut up bags. I'm not too sure what packets, I guess. <laughs> I'm not too sure what to call them. But these, they're just Ziploc bags. You just open them and pour them and the diamonds come out with no issue. Oh my goodness, I love all of the pink hues. This is so, so pretty. And the image is this. This is why I remembered because I love the peachy kind of pink color of the sky. The sun or moon, I'm not too sure. <laughs> all of the trees, I'm a lo I love that. The mountain and the little river that runs down, as you can see in the middle. And then the little coast with all of the little extra kind of flowers and trees and I just love the coloring on this painting and sorry for the sound it made a really loud sound and yeah this one oh the plastic on this one's a little tougher to kind of peel but I really love the tones and I love that the little river is kind of reflecting the sky a bit you can see kind of the river having a little bit of a pink tune a uh, tune sorry tone so it kind of makes sense why it would be reflecting and yeah, this is the image. And just some information of the painting. It is ZX095 and it is a 30 by 40. And it has 21 colors. That kind of makes sense because there's a lot of little undertones on the mountain and on the river. So I can see why it's so many colors. And apologies for that. I just really messed up that plastic. <laughs> so this is the image. And as I stated before, I'll make sure to put a clear image here in the middle of the screen. In case it's a painting you're interested in. Oh my goodness, I can keep staring at this one. <laughs> Let me put it aside real quick. Oh, I just love that painting. And here's the next one. And this one too, I love the little dark red when I saw it. And it has a lot of oranges and all of that. And I really love bright colors. So when I saw it, I was really, really excited. Same thing, standard kit. And these are the diamonds. Oh, I love these nice red tones. And that little soft peach in the back. I like that. I saw this red first. That is really, really red. And I like that. Oh, I love all these colors. They all complement real well, and I like that. And this is the painting. This one, honestly, I flat out forgot it. <laughs> uh, but then I saw the trees, the red trees. I mean, a lot of my paintings, as you've all probably seen in previous videos, they have some trees that are red with a black background. And whatever buildings in the middle. I love the two kind of tone. 
that works. I don't know, like they complement each other. I'm a fan of that. So, and I really love this one. It has kind of the backdrop of a moon with the mountain and the building and the really pretty red trees with a little waterfall and the river. And there's some of the leaves in the water. I'm a big, big fan of that. And yeah, I really love these tone, uh, tones. I keep wanting to say tune, but <laughs> I really love these tones. And I love it. other paintings I've shown have this color contrast because I love it a lot. And some information of this painting, it is QT244, it's 30 by 40, and it has 22 colors. I can see that because there's a lot of different hues of the red, and I really like that. And the little tree branches as well. No, oh, even, the, even the coloring in the leaves in the river, sorry about that, I picked it up too fast. Uh, they're kind of different colors, that kind of makes sense why it's so many. Oh, I really love these paintings. And move it aside real quick. And let me check because I believe my phone might have been sending me a warning. Oh, no, I'm good. Okay, so the next painting is this. And this one I do remember because I remembered the building. So let me open it real quick. Standard kit. And these are the diamonds. Oh, I feel a heavy one here at the end. <laughs> I think it might be one of the reds. I love that little peachy color. The little pinks and a little darker red, a little browns, lighter brown, a little maroon color, a little mauve color. I like that. Oh, I like this hue. And oh, there's a little orange one hidden in there. <laughs> and this is the pink. Remember I said red and the contrast? I'm a big fan of that. When I first saw this little lamp, I immediately wanted the painting. It is so detailed. And I love that it's hanging on the branch with these beautiful flowers. And I love the little white background. So it handles really well with the red. I love this image when I first saw it. And just a little close up of the little picture. There we go. And the little lamp is supposed to be lighting up. So that's why there's lighter colors. And then white in the middle to the lamp. I love this image. I can, I'm going to say that a bunch of times. I'm sorry about that. I just really, really like this. Because when I saw it on the website, I knew I had to have it. And this is a pre-order, so I had to wait till they had it back in stock. As some information of this painting, it is H045 and is a 30 by 40. And it is 22 colors. And I can imagine it's all in the red. <laughs> There's a lot of different red hues all over the place. But I really, really love this image. And as well, I'll make sure to put an image here in the middle of the screen so you can see it clearly. And if it's an image you might be interested in. Let me just show a little more. And there you go. I really do like this one. So far, I really like, well, pretty much all the paintings I show. I, I'm big fans of them. And I pick them because I like them. <laughs> so this is the next painting. And this one, I do remember it. And I love it. And let me just open it real quick. Same thing, standard kit. And yay, this one has them in Ziploc bags. I love, as I said before, I love that they're starting to come out like this more. I reused the little Ziploc bags. They're really sturdy. So they're really good in case you ever have to put any little things in it. They kind of, they'll be able to handle whatever you put in there. And I love all these, dark, I love that dark maroon. All these dark colors are really, really nice. Just love that. And this is the painting. It's a street of lights. And I saw this one and I love little images like that. They're kind of abstract, kind of just, you know, just pretty little images. And it's dark to dark sky with a little kind of walkway here. I'm not sure the camera's catching it. And all the little bright lights on the side. And I loved when I saw that. And let me just fix the plastic just a little bit, see if I can get a little straight, strain it out a bit. Oops, sorry about that. Just so. We can see the image a little bit more clearly. I think the little grooves might be hiding some of the some of the aspects of the lights. So <laughs> let me fix that real quick. This is such a nice, really nice painting. And I know it has a lot of darker tones. But I really do like it. And there you go. That's a little better. And I love that there's little, if you see those little circles, they're little glare spots of the lights. So I love that. I just really love this image. It's a little hallway with lights. And this is the little picture here. Yeah. And there's little, you can kind of see little street lamps. Um, it's a little harder to see it here, but if you actually see the little image, it'll actually show all of the little kind of extra stuff that's in the background. 
And some information of this painting, it is JX010 and it's a 30 by 40 and it is 20 colors. Oh my goodness, I really, really like this image. <laughs> I already imagine what it looks like on my wall. <laughs> and as well, I'll make sure to put an image here in the middle of the screen so you can see it more clearly. And finally, on the last painting, yes, I, this was a bigger order, so that's why I showed, I believe it was six paintings, but since I had the little storage box, the video is a little longer than usual, so sorry about that. And the next one had, this one has a little sticker with it. Uh, I love it when they come with the little stickers. They're good for your log books or if you just want it on the wall because some of the images are really nice. This is what it looks like. It's a tree by a river. And same thing, standard kit. Like I said, always have your back. <laughs> and these are the colors. And yay! I love their Ziploc bags. And I love all the purples and the pinks. And I love when they actually put the painting code on it. So in case you're like me, I put the paintings away in a portfolio, put the diamonds in a box, so when I want to work on them, I just pull the diamonds. I know which diamond painting it belongs to, so I don't have to be guessing or looking around. I love when they put that. I love all the purples and the pinks. Oh my goodness, I really like this painting. And this is the image. As I said, there are trees by a river with a moon and a blue sky and a little coast at the bottom. I really like it. It's so serene. I love this image. And it's just a little close-up. And I like that as well. And some information of this painting. It is ZCC1085. And it is a 20 by 30. And it is 19 colors. Huh. Kind of expect a little more because there's a lot of pink. But it kind of works because with the river, I was going to say like, with the river, it's reflecting the moon. So it's a little lighter tone and it works really well. So that is all I have for today. As I said, that's why it's a little longer this time because I just really wanted to show the whole order because I actually do have a lot of Timu orders that the majority of them are painting. So I'm going to make sure to show them, show them, show them to y'all if maybe there's something you're interested in, if you feel like doing your next project. <laughs> and again, thank you so much for, um, for your time. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for returning back. I really do appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, if I can just ask if you can do the usual, if you can like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate that as well. And again, thank you for your time and have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you.